Oh, hello. Welcome to the quarantined office of New Heights Baptist Church. We're excited to share some exciting updates with you. But first, we wanted to answer a question that many may have thought to ask. What has quarantine done to the staff members of New Heights Baptist Church? Observe case number one. Interesting. Well, moving forward, we're excited because we've got all kinds of things. Because we've been hearing some things that some of you feel like our friend here, Mr. Board. And Mr. Board, what do you have to say about the quality of our production so far? Exactly. He's bored. See, Mr. Board was made in the 21st century, so he believes he deserves better. Don't be like Mr. Board. So, we're here today to tell you we have some new equipment to improve the quality of our video capability. Oh boy. What's good? Go. Um, I'm just talking to the good people of New Heights Baptist Church. What are you doing? I don't even know. Are you okay? No. How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, look! <laughs> my friend. It's a road runner. He's my best friend. Interesting. I'm just... What are you doing here? Well, I'm telling them that people have been like our friend, Mr. Board, and uh, we're trying to make them not be so bored. Why? But! Or, do you have a question? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I don't even know. But here's the deal. Technology can help us, and it is going to help us in this situation, but I want to tell a quick story. Back in the Old Testament, in the book of Numbers, okay? Um, what are you doing? So okay. Don't mind him. In the book of Numbers, him. you remember that the people of Israel were complaining. They were complaining against God and against God's man. And God sent a bunch of poisonous snakes to bite them and attack them. And they were biting them and attacking them. They came to Moses. What do we do? Hey, God, what? Do you know if a snake attacks a roadrunner, a roadrunner's going to win? How's that? Because roadrunners are faster than snakes. Continue your story. Okay. Um, so God told Moses... Go make a brass snurpit. Snurpit. <laughs> a brass serpent. And, and wrap it around a brass pole and hold it up, just like this one. And whoever looks at the serpent, they will live. And so they did that. A lot of people lived, of course. But here's the deal. Later on, they called, they gave this snake a name. You know what they named this snake? I do not. Nushtan. Is that nice? No, I didn't sneeze. I said Nushtan. Well, don't tell me to hush. Tell me the name of the snake. I didn't tell you to hush. Why don't you hush? The name of the don't snake. Don't tell me to hush. I'm the over name, here creating. The name of the snake is Nushtan, okay? Well, he's going to have to cry over that one. Anyways, the name of the snake is Nushtan, and they worship this snake later. They made this snake a god. So here's the deal. Technology may be like this snake. It may be a way to get the blessings of God into our life in this season of time. But we must not forget, number one, don't be like the children of Israel and complain. You might get bitten by a snake. Number two, remember who is our Savior, who is our provider. It's God, not something we use as a tool for a time. And with that, take my friend with me. God bless you, and we'll see you again soon.